Lauren Whitney, Lauren, it's cold out there. Oh, it is chilly. And I love that the Brown Palace is doing that because that is one of my favorite holiday traditions. And I was really sad that I wasn't going to get to do it this year. We do have uh, a little bit of snow in the southeastern part of the state. Otherwise, we are very, very quiet for most of the state. We do actually still have a winter uh, weather advisory down in Baca County. But you can see uh, a lot of moisture off to our east. Unfortunately, we didn't really tap into a ton of that, but we did still get a little bit of snow. So looking at our satellite and radar, the other low pressure system and cold front has now moved to the south as well and those both will keep moving to the south one to the east as high pressure takes back over as we head into uh, Friday and into Thursday so we do start to warm up it is still a little breezy at times on Thursday but overall we're in for warmer temperatures starting tomorrow and it will be dry as we head into the weekend and we're actually talking temperatures close to 60 in many areas so future cast for tonight that little bit of snow that's left in the southern part of the state should clear out of here pretty quickly then tomorrow morning we wake up to sunshine it will be another very chilly start to the day. So very cold out there, but it warms up in the afternoon and we should have a lot of sunshine tomorrow. And the future cast is actually going to stay just like this for the next several days. Dry, it may not be until next week that we get in on some more snow. So again, we do still have one winter weather advisory left down in that southeastern corner of the state as that area could still get some snow. Pretty heavy snow over in Kansas right now. So could see another couple inches of snow still tonight. And our ski resorts saw quite a bit as well. Not a ton, but a little bit more than we were expecting in some areas. Steamboat Springs, six inches of snow. Aspen, four. Snowmass Vale and Keystone with three inches of snow. And temperatures right now, 23 in Denver, 30 in Boulder. We have 27 out in Burlington. Nine in Frisco is our chilly spot, 34 in Grand Junction. Add in that wind chill, it feels like 15 here in Denver. Feels like nine below in Frisco. So a lot of areas feel a whole lot colder thanks to that little bit of wind out there. And we have 24 from our weather watcher, Paul Kaplan, just northwest of Gunnison. 32 are high today in in Denver, so that is below our normal. It's a little warmer than we had anticipated. We thought we might not get out of the 20s. 34 degrees here downtown. Now tonight it will be pretty chilly. Four below in Frisco and Leadville. Ten below tonight in Gunnison. One below in Craig. So again, pretty chilly out there. Most of the high country will be in the single digits. 16 here in Denver. 14 in Boulder. Eight for Greeley and Lyman. And tomorrow, once we get past that cold morning, we get to the mid 40s. 47 in Denver. 48 in Fort Collins, Greeley, and Boulder. Lots of upper 40s out in the eastern plains. 30s in the high country and for your five day forecast we head back to the 50s on Friday and we stay there through early next week when we could get close to the 60s and there may even be some 60s on that plus one more forecast. Wow. All right, Lauren. Thank you. Coming up next.